Welcome to video six of our Baron 58 paint and interior completion. Since we're preparing to strip down and repaint the entire aircraft, I decided it would be a really good time to get ice shields put on the aircraft. So what exactly are ice shields, you might ask? Well, they're placed on the forward part of the fuselage, just right behind the nose of the aircraft. This also happens to be right in line with the propellers on the aircraft. Part of the anti-icing systems of the Baron 58 are hot props, which essentially melts ice that's building up on the propellers. And since the propellers are spinning at a very high rate of speed, the centrifugal force can sling the ice right into the fuselage. So if the ice is large enough and it hits hard enough, it can leave dents in the fuselage. So essentially the ice shields provides a thicker bit of aluminum here and provides some extra protection against dents from slinging ice. Now that the ice shields are installed, next up is preparing the aircraft for chemical stripping. Foil tape and paper is placed over the windows, the boots, the engines, essentially everywhere you don't want the aircraft to come in contact with the chemical stripper. With all the protective foil tape and paper applied, now comes time to actually apply the stripper. It's applied with an air pressure sprayer. And you definitely want to wear your respirator when you're doing this because this stuff smells horrible. Not to mention it's really not something you want to inhale either. The stripper hasn't even been on very long and you can see it's already starting to work. The previously applied ice shields were only primer coated so you can see this paint is really coming off quick. Regardless of whether you're using chemical stripper or you're doing a mechanical stripping, it really makes a mess of the area. Some smaller paint shops might not have a dedicated space to do this dirty work and wind up having to do this in the paint booth itself. You really want to avoid that if you can. Keeping a clean paint booth really helps when you actually do the paint job to keep contaminants out of the paint. After the stripper is left on long enough to pull the paint up off of the surface, the airframe is pressure washed to remove all the stripper from the airframe. Even with the stripper off, there's still a bunch of work that needs to be done. Here you can see we're digging out all the old Pro Seal that was inside the seams. You might have already noticed that all the rivet lines have been sanded just to get every little bit of residue paint off the rivet lines. After every single rivet has been cleaned with meticulous detail, the entire aircraft is etched and alodined in preparation for primer coat. Inside the paint booth, every little piece of the aircraft has been laid out to be painted separately along with the airframe itself. You can see everybody wiping down the aircraft in preparation for the primer coat. This is a final cleaning to make sure there's no oil or contaminants on the airframe. The flight controls are removed from the aircraft, hung and painted separately. The Baron is now a white blank slate. I'm going to wait until the next video, video number seven, which will be the last of the series to reveal the new paint scheme. Now let's take a look at what's going on in the interior shop. If you remember from our prior video, video number five, the interior was pretty much done other than the seats. So up in the interior shop, work has begun on the seats. Here you can see foam on the seat frames. The different color foams represent different densities. When the seats are custom crafted like this, you can mix and match and choose different densities of foam that create either a stiffer or a softer feel. We're creating a very different shape and design than what the original Baron seats had. The white foam you see is actually a very dense, stiff foam, and it's used to create structure and give form to the new shape. 
Along with the new modern form of the seat, we're also getting rid of the chunky rectangular headrest that was on the original seats. The new headrest is designed to flow with the new seat shape and appear integral to the seat as opposed to a blocky afterthought. Additional foam is added for the seat bolsters and lumbar. Placing a partially sewn cover is starting to show what this seat might look like when finished. With a backrest complete, we take a look at it next to the carpet and the sidewalls. I'm gonna pause the footage right here. I don't want you to see what this seat looks like until we get the bottom cushion done as well. But don't worry, your wait's only one second. Here's the bottom cushion, the seat's complete. It's come out really nice. This is the most complex, intricate seat we've put in an aircraft to date. The rest of the seats are in various phases of construction. We wanted to complete one as a first article to make sure we were happy with the design before repeating it on five other seats. The rest of the interior will be finished to coincide with the finished paint job on the Baron. I hope you enjoyed this video. The next video will reveal the paint job and the completed interior. If you enjoyed this video and you're interested to see how the Baron turns out, do not forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so that you do not miss the final video in this seven part series.